Hey there, I'm Jen with Data Box, and welcome to another episode of Data Snacks. Today, we're going to talk about how best to format your Google Sheets to get your data visualized in your shareable dashboards. Data Box lets us visualize the data from spreadsheets, which makes it easier to get insights, share, and track over time. But in order to get the most from this option, we need to have properly formatted Google Sheets. So in this episode of Data Snacks, we're going to show you how to properly format your Google Sheets, use our new Google Sheets wizard for easier metrics building. As usual, let's pop into the computer and get started. So let's start with a brand new Google Sheet. I will name it Test Sheet 1. Okay, let's talk about the data table really quick. We have two options here the vertical and the horizontal view. To get the most from your Google Sheet, the vertical setup is recommended. It allows you to include all date ranges, values, and dimensions in columns. Therefore, you can create the entire data board with an overview and drill down data with just a few metrics, while the horizontal has its limitations when it comes to adding more data. That's pretty much it on the view. Easy, right? And don't worry if you already have a horizontal sheet, you can easily switch it to vertical. So you're gonna select, choose copy, then you're going to paste special and paste transposed. Now we come to date formats. As you know, date formats are very important when it comes to formatting your Google Sheets, but they also play an integral role in extracting and visualizing data with DataBox, as the query builder will only recognize correct formats. Doing this manually ensures that you will get it right more easily. So the date should be formatted using a Google Sheets format to look like month, day, year, or day, month, year. Either way, the date needs to include the information on the day, month, and year that this metric value should be pushed to. Now keep in mind, if you're using specific date formats in Google Sheets that aren't formatted in a way that works with Databox, you can either quickly reformat the entire column by selecting format, number, then date, or if it's important you to keep a record of the dates formatted as they are, it's advisable to create an additional column in your Google Sheets for dates that will be used by Databox. So let's reformat these so that they don't work with Databox. I'll choose this one. Then I'll create my new column and call it Databox Dates. So type in equal and the cell you'd like to transfer. So equals A2 here. Then drag the setting across the other cells and you already know this trick, select the data box dates column, click format, choose number, date, there we go. Okay, so far so good. How about we try to format the conversion of currency next? Okay, let's suppose you have three currencies in the Google Sheet and you need to get it all into one unified currency. In this case, we're gonna use the US dollar, the British pound, and the Euro. And let's say we wanna report on everything in Euros. Here's how we can do it. Again, I'll create a new column. I'll call this one amount, Euros. And let's change the other to amount any, since it will hold any kind of currency. Uh, to column E, I'm gonna add this formula equals Google Finance, and then in parentheses and quotes, currency, colon, and here you'll put the little code for the currency you're going from and changing to. So in this case, USD, EUR, because I'm going from US dollars to Euros. Notice that when I do this, it shows us the exchange rate. So we still need to convert the currency. To do that, I'm just going to multiply the cell in column B and add that to my formula. Then I'll drag the cell settings down. 
Right now, our formula is assuming everything is converting from USD to the Euro. So I'll just pop into each cell and make sure it's converting the right currency. If one is already in Euros, I can just delete the formula and do equals and then the cell number. That way we aren't missing any data in this column. For the British Pound, I'll use GBR, AKA Great British Pound. All right, done. Let's put everything we learned together and input a new row of data. All right, let's say on April 11th, 2022, Moniz brought in 755 pounds. Now let's just stretch down our date format in column D then update the currency formula in column E. Perfect. It adds very little time to do this and it will save your team a ton of headaches. Okay, this is ready to go. Let's get all of this into Databox and build a dashboard. This is one of my favorite parts of the process. In Databox, we offer the Google Sheet Wizard and that's gonna help you create metrics from Google Sheets more easily. So. First, let's try to do that from the sheet we formatted together. So first we'll connect our Google Sheets, the one we created together. So here you can see, we're just confirming everything looks right. We see that it's all formatted properly, yay us. And now it's time to move on and create a metric. Begin by selecting a metric value. This is basically just a number that you wanna track. From there, you'll have the option to either leave it as it is or further segment it by a dimension, which I'll explain a bit more in a second. So then you'll add finishing touches like naming your metric, your trending preferences, etc. cetera. Uh, but let's just walk through this together. Okay, so for our first one, I wanna create an amount metric. That way I can track the money coming in and I'm gonna wanna do that all in euros. So. We're gonna select the column here. Since we aren't adding any additional dimensions, we'll skip this. For the date column, we wanna choose data box dates since it's formatted correctly. Um, also, this is just a safeguard in case someone puts in a date incorrectly, it'll just be formatted correctly here. Um, then I'm gonna name it. Trending up is the good one. Click continue and it is that easy. Let's add it to our dashboard. Just gonna drag it directly from the metrics library here. And if you can see here, nothing is showing up. That's because if you remember, we don't have any date that goes past April, 2021. So I'll choose all time so we can see all the data and let's graph by year to start just because we have so little data in our little tiny Google sheet. Okay, great. Now what would be really cool is to be able to see who's bringing in the most money according to our data. So let's create a new metric to do that. In this case, we select amounts Euro as the value again, and now's the time to add a dimension. In other words, a way to slice and dice this data. We wanna be able to see how much money is coming in from each team member. So column C owner would be our dimension. Again, we'll choose the data box dates column and let's name it amount by owner. Don't forget, you can always choose the preferred visualization before adding it to the dashboard. And here's our final product. Properly formatting your Google Sheets from the get-go will save you time going forward as will allow you to use Databox to its full potential. It takes a bit of time to master the formatting, but once you see how quickly your Databox populate on your dashboard, and verify the accuracy of that data, it is more than worth it. Chef's kiss. <laughs> and remember, if you lack the time to take this on, you can always reach out to our support team and get a free Google Sheets setup service to kick things off. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time. Yeah.